It's waifu time! Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we're gonna to have a look at the Figma number 487 from Nekopara. It's Vanilla. It's a cat girl in a maid uniform. What more do I need to tell you? This is like, uh, I've never seen an episode of Nekopara, but I love the designs and uh, it looks like both of them coming with a ton of accessories. Did I say both of them? Yeah, that might be something else in the future. Well, let's have a look at this one. Within me or is Neko Para just like the ultimate fan service? You have like a cute girl, check, cat ears, double check, maid uniform, triple check. I'm like, what more can I ask for? <sighs> she stands at about 12 and a half, a little over 12 and a half, 12.4 centimeters to the top of the head. It would be 12 and a half if you're going up to the cat ears, but I'm always looking at the head. Five inches tall for your size comparisons. Here's Jalter, SH Figure Arts Chun Li, SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn, Chocola, and Dark Side. Man, looking at this, I just like, in the back of my mind, it kind of goes like, Welcome, Master. Would you like to have some tea or coffee or whatever she's serving? Anybody else? No? Just me? Alright, sure. Let's have a look at the beautiful face sculpt. You have the eyes which are printed on there and have a ton of detail wonderful blue and a little bit of a smirk the fluff in the ears which i i adore it i don't know why but it it, it really resonates with me i don't i don't know cats i love cats and you have the light blue ribbons and the blue line in the middle is not the cleanest but it's all right i guess back of the hat i especially love how the hair flows it goes down and really trails up over there that's a very nice touch Got the rubbery ribbons up there, a little bit covering the ball joints, which, uh, by the way, it is nicely connected. I feel like they didn't go overboard. The articulation is a bit limited, but as such, I feel like the connection of it just looks good. And I, gl I gladly sacrificed some of the articulation for a good look. Vanilla is a little bit more of the flat chested variety. Chocolate has a, lot, a, a bit more to offer in that regard, but, you know, to some people, flat is justice. I'm not one of those people, but, you know, I don't want to start a debate. I'm just stating my preferences. You got another light blue ribbon and the line that goes around the neck and this little bell has a nice gold metallic. More blue lines on the side. Those are clean and the ribbon. Unfortunately, we have some bleeding in the black and I have to zoom out a little bit because my camera has trouble focusing on all the good stuff. You got these rubbery armbands as well, which have another black ribbon on there. Those are not connected anywhere, so you can rotate it around and it does a nice job of covering the ball joint. Going back real quick to the torso area, lovely, look at these buttons. It's actually hard buttons. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. And also a little bit shiny, stands out from the rest of it. It's a button, so it should be shiny. Got more light blue ribbons and another blue line on her apron, which is not connected to the dress, so you can lift it up and... Why is there a hole? Why is there a hole in here? I didn't even notice that before. Why is there a hole in here? What? You got another ribbon in the back. This is ribbon central after all. And a little bit of bleeding. This is not bleeding central. The circuit is cut up so it doesn't get in the way of your articulation. It also doesn't get in the way of like... The Pantsu! It's Pantsu time! Oh, it's actually painted. It's actually painted. Blue stripes on it. Delicious, awesome, but I don't know what the frick the part up there is. It's a little bit excessive to connect the tail to it, and I don't really know why it's like that. Why they didn't make this like a skin color at least, so yeah, that's the thing. But also, there's like ribbons in the front. Oh my god, most detailed pumps ever! 10 out of 10, go on buy it right now. She has a tiny stockings with the cat ears also. Unfortunately, there seems to be a little bit of black on there. Uh, by the way, there's a the tail. It has a little bit of fur, a little bit of fluff sticking out. And the little bit more shiny blue shoes have, once again, tiny bit of bleeding. But I'm really not bothered with the bleeding in general in this figure because it's really small. For your articulation, the head is packed in in the back. So it does move forward, does move to the back as much as the hair lets it. Does tilt side to side and it... I mean, it would go all the way around, but obviously the hair is blocking it. You can't try to wriggle it around and get it over, so that's possible. For the hair articulation, you have a ball on one pack, so you can rotate that around fairly nicely. It's not the greatest, but it does get some good poses done, I guess. Chest area is fairly nimble, can move around, back, forth, rotate, go side to side easily. And uh, while rotated, it doesn't go all the way around. 
Double ball combination in the shoulder area. You got one ball with a hinge and another ball in the chest area. So you can bring it forward, back. It does move up and down. And also on the hinge, you can bring it down and up. And also rotate it over there. Simple ball hinge for your elbow. And another ball hinge in the hand moves up, down, rotates all the way around. The hip part also has some rotation and back and forth movement. You can get her into a sitting pose, but you have accessories for that. Leg moves forward since the skirt is cut up. It doesn't really get blocked as much. Does move out to the side. Does move to the back. Also rotation in the leg itself. Ball hinge in the knee and another ball hinge for your foot articulation. Forward, backward, does tilt side to side. And let's not forget about the tail. It's also on a ball hinge so you can move that up and down. Rotate it all the way around. For your accessories. You have a table. I am the table. Ah, uh, that's like a wrestling slash portrait main meme. Like if you know that one. Um, anyway, it's a table. It looks plain, but it does get the job done of being a table. So if you want some diorama stuff, you have a table. One chair, unfortunately only one, which uh, it is just straight over there. It doesn't have a nook or anything for a sitting pose. I just say that because it helps the uh, carry the figure with stability if you have a little bit of a it's a little bit angled over there and not just flat, but anyway, same thing. It's a chair, gets the job done of being a chair. Then you have hands, open hands, holding hands, and these kind of, oh, this is like for the tea, can, tea cup. I like those. I like getting something like that and just like completely open, well, kind of with folded hands. And then you got a, I'm going to just say tea, it might be coffee, but it's, well, it's a pot. But teapot just kind of sounds nicer, right? It is nice and shiny. The light's very reflecting off of it. So it does look like an actual pot and not just a piece of plastic, which is appreciated. You have like this plateau, if I'm just making stuff up, with uh, actually some holes in there. Tiny holes, so it does hold on better to the hand. I would have preferred a hand directly attached to it. So I probably won't be using it, but it is metallic and they actually tried to stabilize it a little bit. So give them credit for that. You have a saucer with a mug or a cup. Again, I'm just going to call it tea. Same as the pot. It is nice and shiny. Is it just me or does it have a little bit of magnetic pro pro properties? I don't know. Probably not. Just probably me being loaded with electricity. I'm the guy from Infamous. And I almost forgot because I couldn't see it because it's tiny. You have this see-through piece which also almost rolled off my hand let's have this again without stuff going off the table you can put this into the mug and then you have this so it was tea all along i was right because this is not coffee this is way too bright for that then you have faces you have one kind of like dreamy face and a smiley closed eyes face and you have this entire piece which you can take apart and then just replace it with the regular skirt. It has ugly, ugly bleeding. It doesn't look as nice, so that's immediately a big no-no for me. It is flat in the back, so as I was saying, so the sitting pose should work. The apron also can take this off if you don't want the apron, actually. You have holes on the side over there, which, what is that for? For the tail. You have another tail, which you just connect to the holes. So if she's sitting, it just kind of peeks out over there, which isn't that lovely. Also, as with every Figma, you get a base and you get a bag, and there you go. Final thoughts for Vanilla. I love, love, love this figure. I love the design. The accessories are pretty darn good. Just one thing I'll get to in a second. Paint job is also clean for the most part. There is some tiny, tiny bit of bleeding and the uh, articulation. Well, it's mostly standard. It is, she's nimble. She can get some good poses, so... It's, uh, I guess it's like upper tier, still articulation for Figmas. Nothing too fancy though, nothing special about it. As far as complaints go, the hands. I have just one weird thing about it. You only have holding hands for the cup or the pot. For her right hand, you have this one, which is nicely connected. And I have the other one on the figure right now, which does hold the pot very nicely. But you don't have that for the other side. So. I guess she's right-handed and she only holds it in the right hand. Maybe that's a thing where they just really um, true to the character. But as far as poses goes, I would really prefer the option to have both hands on both sides. 
that's really it. That's all I can come up with as far as complaints. Yes, I do recommend this one. I mean, it's a cat girl in a maid uniform. What more do you want? Seriously. So if you like that, definitely go and get it. If you don't like it, then don't also get off my channel. Just kidding. But yeah, it's a good one. I think it's a good one. That's gonna do it, guys. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, card game stuff, and whatever Vanilla wants. A couple more hands would be nice.